Hello again, this is the video that I wanted to do just to compare the feature of the new Rigel 924S to the to my old scope. In, in fact, this, this is no longer my scope. I have to borrow it back to show you some difference. Uh, but basically, I have issue in, in the past, but I was able to do some something very interesting. As a demonstration, here I have a GPS with a synchronized a clock and this gave a, a very slow uh, serial port that is easy to decode so it's easier to, to show the difference that while looking at it because it's very slow. But basically you have a lot of packet that is uh, issued by the GPS and you, you have some different packet that has different length. So let's zoom on it a little bit. At 200, you see the different width. It's basically different information that is shown uh, differently. Let's go back to normal display. Oops. Display over time. And now we could look further, zoom on it. And maybe put it there. So move the trigger on the left part, could uh, adjust the intensity a little bit. Okay, so short packet, sometimes there is long packet and sometimes there is slightly longer short packet. Uh, less often, but basically what you want to do is, is find a way to trigger. You could trigger if you know a character that is somewhere that is different. Uh, I have not covered trigger option yet, but it works. Uh, in this case, there there was a character in the long packet that I could trigger on it and inspect all around. But basically when you work with serial port, you have to verify that the signal is healthy. Packet are, are fine and there is no uh, issue with uh, timing and things like that before working with a computer and try to do a software on it. So this is most of my job. Uh, I have to decode packets. Uh, if I have to play with a software, then I could play with uh, either a computer or Arduino or Raspberry Pi or something like that. But basically the, the first step is the scope. So the first step is try to decode. You could of course stop single get a, a single packet and then you could zoom on it but the decode option is not that good so you want to do something more intelligent or if you know exactly what you look for you want to use some feature of the scope that is nicer to work with let's start to run again if you know that you only want as an example here capture something that is different you could use the trigger on the scope you stop it and you make a window out of it, utility, and so someone says that it doesn't work with the old scope. Well, it worked very well. You cannot activate the, the ASCII decode in the same time that you activate the pass fail or the, or the record, but I will show you how to do it. You enable the um, window for the pass fail, then you have to generate uh, an certain amount of packet size if you, if you do, this was only for the packet size but you could work with either packet intensity basically what we are just searching here is a packet that is different than the normal packet that is common so i just create a pattern once it's create let's go back and you could work with option having a beep or stop if it's not what you expect to have you could of course output the uh, uh, this to uh, another channel uh, as I've done here I've put the output to the other scope but this is not the uh, objective here just to capture it so let's let's do operate you could play on it but it will just do the same as usual so if you want to pass fail uh test this will this is how to do it so it's it's 
stop only when the packet is beyond the window that you've defined. But now, if you want to decode this thing, the sam as long as the sampling is fine, all the information is there, but you have, uh, you have to work a little bit. You have to turn off, uh, just, sh just to show you, if you want to decode, mat, decode, but the decode is off. So you cannot activate the decode. Mat, decode two, same thing, that's not available. But instead of doing that, go back to the pass fail and turn off. Once you got a packet on the screen, you could deactivate the test. And now with this, you could start again with mat decode one. And now I can turn it on. So now you need to adjust yourself for what you want to decode. One way is to zoom on this packet, that, that's fine, but you could also use, uh, instead of that, we'll put that off, menu, delay, which is equivalent to zoom. And now you have the luxury, I would say, to select a smaller area of the packet that you want to decode. I know there is some triggering occurring about the end of the first packet. It's a, if you have a terminal, it's a first line. And now you could zoom a little bit on it. I have only a few character. Well, I guess it's about here. And now you could actually decode. Matt, decode. On the old Rigel, the 1054, the decode only occur on the zoom section. So decode is on. This is only a um, 9600 bolt, so it's not very, very fast, but now you could have your decode option uh, activated. The, what you have on the screen is what you will, will, will get, and that's about it. So you could play on it, but sometimes if it's badly timed and you don't have the character occurring in the right place on the left part of the scope, Everything is mangled until it sort of synchronizes itself, but you could try to move it a little bit further and try to to, to see where you are. We'll move a little bit to the right, same thing. Not decoding right, not decoding right, and hop, then suddenly it's fine. So that's that's one way to work with the uh, old Rigel. Uh, but if you want to do uh, a next packet you cannot activate back again the pass fail because the pass fail is now unreachable so you have to turn off mat decode you turn off the mat decode and then you go back to the the pass fail pass fail is not enabled why because you have zoom so you need to deactivate the zoom and then you could go to pass fail uh, enable it again and you could do operate as for the next packet here's the next packet and it it's cumbersome but it works so again deactivate the pass fail activate the zoom and then you have to play again where to, to find where is where is the zoom section I'm looking at. And once you got that, mat, decode, decode one, and now you got your your nice display of your of your character. Could change the position of it, just make it slightly lower. You could have uh, as long as you got synchronized, you could have more than one decode. Uh, mat, there is two on the uh, the old one decode. On. Uh, and this one I could have maybe a display uh, polarity is fine let's work with um, not a binary ASCII character that worked by the way on the uh, on the 1054 I expect the uh, new scope is not working with the uh, ST character something like bell or carriage return or something make it crash so that's that's the way to work with the old Rigel 
for serial decoding using the sampling uh, window uh, feature to detect a, a strange packet. And this is the, through the pass-fail feature.